Hi everyone and welcome to this Vervo webinar. We're just going to give um, people a few more minutes to join. Um, in the meantime, in the chat, let us know where you're dialing in from today. Um, is it in Australia? Is it in the US? Is it somewhere completely different altogether? What What's the vibe? Are you drinking coffee? Are you having a nice glass of wine? Uh, what time is it over there? What's what's the weather over there? Is it cold? Here we go. So San Francisco. Thanks, Chris. Cool. What's the weather like in San Francisco at the moment? Uh, Megan's in Nashville, Tennessee. Is that right? In the US. Nice. Chris is typing. I'm very excited. What are you drinking as well, Chris? Is it, is it wine? Is it beer? Cool. We have a fam our famous fog. Nice. I've never been to San Fran. Oh, Beck's on the Gold Coast. Yes. Coffee, of course. Is it hot coffee, Beck, or is it some sort of cold brew? What's the deal? Is it instant coffee? No shame. No judgment. <laughs> Beck's typing. Okay. Everyone stay on the edge of your seat. Annika's typing as well. This is interesting. What are you drinking this morning, Marie and Marcus? Uh, I was just on the instant. You're on the instant? Okay. What are we talking? What brand? Makona? What was Nescafe? it? I think it was Nescafe. Oh, lovely. <laughs> We're not sponsored today, but that's okay. Thank you for Canada. Drinking double Cortado. Oh, nice. Beck, hot coffee. Okay. All right, that's pretty good for a Gold Coast girl. It's pretty good for Queensland. Maria, you're having a cup of tea or something, aren't you? Yes, I've got an Earl Grey tea because I'm 95 years old. <laughs> <laughs> very, very, very classy. All right, it's five past the hour here, so maybe we'll make a bit of a start. Um, so hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today um, and welcome to this Vervo webinar. Um, today, we're going to be taking a look at Vervo's exciting new anti-cheating features. I'm Dom Hennequin. I'm on the content marketing team. Um, and joining us to talk about these features today are two members of our product team at Vervo, Marie Lee. Hi, Marie. Hey. <laughs> and, Mar <laughs> Marcus King. Hi, Marcus. Hey, Dom. Hey. Um, so they'll be providing a showcase of the new features that we're talking about today and that have, um, that have just been released um, or are to be released. And they'll do a demo as well to give you an idea of how these features can give you confidence when hiring, but also do it without impacting the candidate experience. Um, to let you all know, playing at home that um, we will be taking questions towards the end of the session if we have some time. So please leave any questions either in the chat or in the questions tab. Um, and Caitlin, who's working behind the scenes, will kind of collate them and send them to us. And also feel free to kind of chat with each other throughout the session in the chat window. Um, we love a bit of engagement on uh, these webinars, so go for it. Um, all right, let's 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 make a bit of a start. So I guess the first question um, is really what is anti-cheating and is cheating generally kind of a big problem um, in skills assessments? Um, Marie, if you want to take this one. Yeah, I'd love to. Um, yeah, so anti-cheating is a huge, um, a huge problem. Well, cheating is a huge problem. It's really, really common. Um, studies show that nearly four out of five candidates lie in some capacity um, during the hiring process. And that's just because um, assessments and interviews are just inherently a high stakes um, situation. So candidates might give a fake reference, um, you know, jazz up their job title or just outright lie about their um, experience. So with Vervo, um, candidates undertake skills based assessments that mimic um, as close as possible, you know, the tools, challenges and tasks of um, a real day in the life of the job so that it's closer to an audition um, rather than telling a, a story or kind of recalling information, um, which in itself kind of promotes a lot more authenticity um, from both candidates and employers. And then on top of that, um, 
anti-cheating is our latest set of features designed to give employers the best reflection of a candidate's skills and um, just avoid any bias or um, misrepresentation um, on the candidate's part. Yeah, really cool. And it's obviously really easy to kind of, you know, fib on a resume or in an interview and weave some sort of narrative together. So we're kind of fusing job simulations, real realistic on the job previews with um, more anti-cheating stuff on top of that to make sure that um, what they're actually doing when they're answering things, it's their answers, right? So I guess, yeah, sorry, go on. Oh, I literally just said 100%. 100%. (laughs) Agree. Um, So... Well, yeah, I guess I guess today, how do most platforms handle cheating, I guess, and tackle anti-cheating, uh, Marcus? Um, yeah, so it's actually quite typical um, for most other platforms to request webcam access um, to take photos or periodically record candidates throughout the assessment. Um, so this is otherwise known as video proctoring. Um, and this is... Of, Uh, usually um, not to the knowledge of the candidate or they don't understand that it's happening during the assessment. Um, Then it's also industry standard to cycle questions for each test, limit the maximum number of times a question is given and even impose a time limit. Um, So we thought there had to be a better way than sneakily recording candidates that led to high drop off and doesn't actually minimize cheating. Yeah, wow. So candidates generally don't are they are they ever fully aware that um they're being recorded not typically no so it can be actually quite invasive um especially when you're doing something high pressure like trying to nail that job interview or sort of thinking out loud wow okay cool um and so these kind of these are video recordings or snapshots or photos of candidates you know, how many times on average did some of these things do it when you're taking an assessment? Uh, yeah, so each platform varies, but it can be sort of a each 30 seconds, a screenshot's being sent um, to the to the employer or even a whole time lapse um, from start to finish, um, which can be quite invasive. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine <laughs> the still shots that you would get? On an average work day, if you if it was having every thirty seconds, <laughs> yeah, you oh, would see that I'm not at my desk very much. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, well, in that case, then how how has Vervo approached this anti cheating stuff? Um, and is is it as creepy as all of that? Are we taking snapshots of people every day? Uh, no, Dom. So we wanted to a way for the customers to trust us. Um, and trust the results without being creepy or disadvantaging the candidate. Um, so that's how we came up with our unique feature set that isn't biased or invasive. Um, so after we analyzed feedback from our customers, we found that they really just wanted to trust our results um, without having to actually view every candidate's assessment. Okay, interesting. All right, so take us through it then. So how do we kind of, what's the feature set? And what are we kind of doing? And maybe you can sort of take us through here, Marie and Marcus. Yeah, definitely. Um, So we're really proud to have created um, something that serves both sides, both employers and candidates um, in the hiring process. And we can confidently say that we offer um, a solution that not only provides accurate information for the employers, but also obviously really closely aligned to our mission of removing hiring bias and um, enabling candidates to showcase their skills without invading any privacy um, and just taken a really considered um, approach uh, rather than developing a list of um, features like a checklist um, of anti-cheating. Um, we really tried to find a balance um, that will complement our product and have come up with um, a combination of randomization, visual checks, uh, inconsistent behavior and plagiarism. And we're really, really excited to take you through those features um, in the platform today. So I'll just share my screen. You guys see that? Yeah, Yeah, awesome. Um, So the first one is randomization, and this is available to all customers across all assessments. In its simplest form, it allows you to mix up the questions in an assessment so each candidate receives a slightly different set of questions to answer. 
This minimizes the risk that information will be shared about the content between candidates. And randomization can be on a question or school level, um, and some question types like multiple choice even allow randomization within the question itself. Um, so randomization allows you to select the number of questions from each individual school group, skill group that you wish to rotate. Skill groups can be toggled off, which means questions from that group won't be subject to randomization. So this removes the chance of a candidate posting your assessment online or sharing assessment questions with other candidates. Yeah, awesome. Um, and then the next thing we wanted to show you is geolocation. So um, we use geolocation detection um, to determine if a candidate completes an assessment from multiple locations. Um, if, a, if the locations in the timestamps are incompatible with um, the candidate, it will be flagged for you to review. Um, and our method ensures that genuine candidates um, that happen to start an assessment um, in one location and then finish it in another aren't disadvantaged by uh, the process. Awesome. And, and as you can see on the screen, geolocation allows you to detect and flag potential cheating from candidates that have multiple logins in different city locations. So the login must occur within a 30 minute window and be for the same assessment. Uh, so this anti-cheating feature is available on all plan types on assessment flow. The multiple locations flag will be visible from the select list on the candidate report card. The flag can also be dismissed from the candidate report card. So what this means is that each candidate report card shows the location in which the logins were detected. If there is a change in location, you'll be alerted with a flag like you can see on screen now. This enables you to trust the candidate has not outsourced someone to complete the assessment on their behalf. Um, which brings us to plagiarism. So most of our questions are immersive. Um, so you can imagine watching a sales associate give a live pitch from a deck they've just helped create, or a marketing analyst pull game-changing insights from data in a spreadsheet, or a UX designer unmuddle and optimize your onboarding flow in under an hour. So plagiarism detection allows customers to track candidates that have the same answer by comparing duplicate content to a question across the platform. So if two or more answers are the same, the plagiarism flag will be shown from the select list and candidate report card. Um, so plagiarism detection does not depend on the language and to activate the plagiarism detection setting, customers must toggle it on via the question settings in Create. Yeah, awesome. Cool. Um, just a few questions about that, I guess, like with the um, randomization. So you mentioned that it can also work for, so it works for different skill groups that you can kind of toggle on and off for. Um, can you explain like sort of why that's, what, what scenario that would be useful for? Um, and I think you also said that it works for multiple choices as well. Yeah, for sure. Um, did you want to take this one, Marcus, or I can take it? Uh, yeah. Go I'll go for it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so with the skill groups, um, I guess, yeah, it's just about making sure that um, no two candidates get the same question. So um, you just want to make sure that um, for best results, we actually recommend you randomizing um, the question, uh, randomizing um, the, it on the question level and on the skill group level. Um, and yeah, so the scenario would be just to ensure that like no two candidates get the same combination um, of questions. And that just prevents obviously people being able to, um, you know, know, know what that assessment um, or that, um, that process is, is going to be like and sharing it with other candidates. Yeah. Pretty straightforward. Sorry about that. <laughs> Over, over cooking that one <laughs> and then with the multiple choice one that just means that it mixes up the questions each the time. options Either of them or the yeah yeah exactly right yeah cool yeah. interesting um and then with the geolocation one so you mentioned that it, like it's it's the number of different suspicious logins within a 30 minute period so if someone's That's right. they're logging in from spain and then melbourne and then you know in, in, in a short time span, that's how we look at it. So so that, so it's just yeah, absolutely. Yeah, cool. 
Um, I guess we've got a few FAQs here. And if um, you've got any questions in the audience as well, feel free to leave them now as we start going through these. Um, so the first one is, um, like, how does Vervo, Vervo handle time limits and due dates? Great question. I'm glad you asked. So um, all due dates and time limits in app are customizable. Um, we recommend due dates um, rather than time limits as best practice. So um, any assessment should be uh, submitted within four days of a candidate receiving it. Um, and we just don't recommend setting time limits um, unless it's like highly relevant to the job. So for like a customer service um, role, you know, where you're dealing with tickets or SLAs, um, that's, that's fine. But um, we just recommend setting the due date um, on a due date level, not a uh, assessment time limit, um, just to account for any internet connectivity issues and just um, provide like a, a better candidate experience. Yeah, cool. Like Vevo has the capability to do time limits for the whole we, and, and question by question as well. Definitely do. Yeah, exactly. So it's there if you do want to use that. Yeah, cool. Cool. Um, we've got another one here. So are there any other ways that um, Verbo's kind of anti-cheating features differ from standard of what's out there? Um, yes. Yeah, so as you already know, Vervo does not believe in the practice of video proctoring, making a candidate unaware that we're watching them or recording their audio. Um, so we don't offer this capability. We respect each candidate's privacy. However, we do support video and audio questions. Um, that actually give you a real-time look at who's responding to the question in the assessment if potential cheating has been flagged. Um, and it's also quite standard for other platforms to monitor if a candidate stays within their assessment window. Um, we don't do that when we're creating our anti-cheating features. We believe we've struck the right balance between identifying candidates who are inauthentic versus resourceful. Right. So you can close the window basically you can close the assessment and come back to it and it's not going to punish you for that exactly yeah we thought there's so many instances where you might want to check something or um, you know you have to go do something quickly so we didn't want to impact the candidate's experience from that yeah interesting cool um so let's say in this scenario vervo has informed me of someone cheating on their assessment uh what happens now? Yeah, um, so how you uh, handle the process is entirely up to your company and, and yourself. Um, we will definitely just provide you with the flags um, and that information in app. Um, but yeah, it's up to you to kind of decide what to do with that. Okay, so if someone gets flagged, it doesn't immediately do anything to their score or deduct, you know, points or you know downgrade that score to you know no uh, um the yeah the candidate scores are not actually affected um, by any of the anti-cheating features um, so vervo simply just flags the occurrence and the anti-cheating flags don't actually show up when you're sharing the candidate card or profile so right just conforms. okay cool interesting um and with the plagiarism stuff, um, does that, so that compares answers from everyone doing that one assessment or everyone that's ever done an assessment that has that question in it? Can you kind of expand on that? Yeah, for sure. Um, so Vervo will look for duplicates um, within the, the whole platform. So like across candidates, companies um, and accounts, but it will only flag your candidates. So we'll anonymize any any other answers or candidates to um, protect the privacy. Right. So if I was doing an assessment and I gave an answer that was the same as some other of the million, yeah. <laughs> thousands, millions of assessments, like answers on the platform, it was the same or it was very, very similar. It will it will flag that and bring up yeah. that answer, but anonymize that other answer. That's right. If it's like word for word um, duplicate, and then there's also a setting where so it's turned off by default um, just to account for um, answers where you know it would it will all be the same. So for responses where you know the answer will all be the same, so you're not getting like 10, 10 million flags. Right. So if it's like a 
grammar exercise or something like that where there's exactly a correct answer and an incorrect answer. It's not going to exactly. be like, well, everyone got the correct answer. Yeah. Plagiarism. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. Sweet. Is there any questions from the crowd? Maybe we'll give them one more second to write anything. Questions or just comments. You can leave nice comments and say, wow, that's a great feature. Uh, what anti-cheating features are you most excited about? None, apparently. Okay, great. Um, well, <laughs> that was a really cool demo and a great sort of showcase of what these new features are. Um, are these features already out, already released, available now? Yeah, 100% available now today. Check it out. Um, can't wait to, to see what you think. Yeah, cool. All right. Well, Marie and Marcus, thank you so much for that demo and taking us through these new features. And thank you all for joining us today. Um, if you've got any extra questions and things like that, feel free to leave them in the chat and we'll still be able to see them after the session. Um, you can also see a replay of this session if you missed part of it or you need to run off or anything. Um, we'll be sending the replay later today. Um, and we'll also be doing another webinar um, on July seven um our time that's july 6 um in the us i think it will be um with will wang from growth labs um and that'll be on hiring vas with verbo so we'll give you more details about that in the next few days but for now thanks so much for joining us this morning uh, or this evening and wherever you're from with your coffee or your wine or whatever you have and um we'll see you next time for another verbo webinar thank you thanks Don. thanks Don. Enjoy your instant coffee, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.